What's up everybody, Frofro here, back again with another Riker video. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Silver Turbo. This is the $299 exhaust. Now, I've had this thing on now going on four or five days, and yesterday I got out and actually rode with the thing, and I must say, I'm pretty impressed for it to be $299. So, if you enjoy my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, tell me how it meant a lot to me. Let's just go ahead, dive right in. Let's go. So, like I said in the intro, I went with the $299 version silver turbo exhaust. Now, I did not want to drop a lot of money on an exhaust. Um, I, I, I feel like I could take my money elsewhere and put it towards something more important for travel. But, you know, you got you got to have that, that sound. So I went with the chrome. I like the chrome. Uh, a bunch of people like the black, so it can match the all black. But I like a little chrome on my bike. So the only negatives I've seen on this exhaust... Uh, it's probably on the ceramic black. I've seen where people said that it's chipping off, which no shit, it's going to chip off. I mean, you're going to have rocks and everything else coming up from under it, hitting it, chipping it. I mean, come on, people. Be be realistic. Don't don't completely bash a product. I mean, you got to be, you got to have realistic expectations, but I do kind of understand because you want it to kind of last. They know it's on and exhaust, yada, 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 but come on, have realistic expectations. And I've also seen where they've said that this thing is real loud, which I do agree. This thing is very, very loud. But, as you'll see in my video, it sounds really good. And loud pipes, they save lives, let's be honest. And at the end of the day, you can buy a baffle for this thing if you really want to cut down on the decibel level. Now, this thing is very light. Not this thing. That thing. Very, very light. This thing... This is the stock exhaust. This baby weighs about 17 to 18 pounds. This exhaust, probably half of that. I was just shocked. And it seems like a little bit peppier, but you can't really tell. You can't tell unless you're over 10, 12 horsepower. But, it, I mean, it, it gets up and goes, which is a 900, so it is going to get up and go. This thing, this thing was way too quiet on the interstate. Um, I actually, here's a fun fact. I actually had somebody, and I'm sorry if I didn't toggle this mic, but I actually had somebody pull up uh, at one of the stores I stopped at yesterday and said they would have came over on me if they did not hear my bike. Just let that sink in. They would have came over on me if I would have had that stock exhaust. But they didn't because they heard this mug. So, how do I feel? I feel like for $299, you cannot beat it for the price. The thing's loud, it sounds good, and people will realize you're right there maybe in their blind spots. The cons, if you're going to buy the ceramic black, please be sure to have lower your expectations. Because it's going to chip. You're going to have rocks, people. Just think about it. But I like the chrome. Now, I'm going to provide some video samples uh, of this thing yesterday out riding and just let y'all get a feel of how it sounds. And it sounds really good. You're going to be shocked. So, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it helped you make a decision. And, yeah, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Hit the bell icon. Drop by in the comments. Tell me how it meant a lot to me. I'm Frofro. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out. See ya.